My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. This is an outdoor news episode in regards to Coleman. Recently, it was brought to my attention that the company has released a new line of premium tents. So I checked these out, and folks, this is interesting. Interesting enough for me to make this episode. The individual who contacted me, his name is Robert. Robert, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate you putting this on my radar. He was inquiring about the quality of these products and if I knew anything about them, which I didn't. So I did some searching, and folks, I was a little bit shocked. The prices of these tents are really, really high. And I'll tell you what, before we go over my thoughts about these products and what they are, let's go over the press release. So this came out through Outdoor Sports Wire, June 15th, 2022. I will paraphrase this to kind of get through it because there's a lot of fluff here. Discover the new Coleman Peak One Collection. Peak and One are together. From the Coleman Company. Built for going farther and exploring more because sometimes the journey is the destination. This premium gear is designed to inspire and crafted for outdoor enthusiasts to make the most of their outdoor adventures. There's a quote here from the CEO of New Well Brands Outdoor and Recreation Business Unit, which owns Coleman. He says, over the last two years, we saw a record number of people new to camping. Now, those campers are telling us that they're ready for their outdoor adventures to go to the next level. That is why we created Peak One. This includes a line of tents built with lightweight aluminum poles that are easier to pack in and out and can withstand harsher weather conditions that might not be as easy to dodge when you venture farther into the field. Peak One tents are designed with a WeatherTech Plus system and a strong aluminum frame that can withstand winds up to 45 miles per hour. Perfect for handling whatever Mother Nature has planned. Stuck camping in a rainy climate? The same technology is applied to the 2000 millimeter waterhead rated fly and fabric tub-like floor with tape seams to prevent water from seeping in. Once the rain clears, unzip the star view window and enjoy the nighttime sky and extra airflow. The release goes on to talk about a two burner stove that was also released as part of this line of products. I will talk about the stove in some detail in just a moment and I'll share my thoughts about it, but for now let's focus on the tents. Let's go over the stats here. I will go over not only the prices, but the weights as well. So there is a one person backpacking tent, $230. 4 pounds, 12.6 ounces. That's really heavy for a one-person tent. There's a two-person backpacking tent, $270. The weight goes up substantially from there, 6 pounds, 1 ounce. Then there's a three-person backpacking tent, $300. The weight of that is 7 pounds, 8.7 ounces. There's a four-person dome tent. That's like a car camping tent. Get this, $440. 12 pounds, 15.1 ounces, so basically 13 pounds. Lastly, there's a six person dome tent, $550 and basically it's 16 pounds. It is super heavy and also super expensive. Those are the tents that are part of the Peak One lineup. Here are my thoughts. First off, considering the weight of these tents, they feature a low hydrostatic head rating, 2000 millimeters, it's not that high. Again, this goes back to weight. Typically, when you have these heavy weighted tents, the waterproof rating is rather high, but that's not the case here. Talking about the materials here for a second, the company does not state what they are, which I find really, really strange. They make a point to talk about the aluminum poles, but they don't mention the fabrics used. This tells me, along with the weight of each of these products, they're using polyester. Polyester is much less expensive, and for you to have a strong tent, you have to use very high denier polyester. That's why these tents are so heavy. The company talks about how these tents are ultra light, and that's simply not true. Again, the one person tent is almost five pounds. That's not ultralight at all. Another point that stood out to me was the pack size for these tents. In the marketing material and also in the Peak One commercials, it shows a woman, she's backpacking, she has her pack on. The tent is attached to the outside of the pack. The tent is gigantic. It is huge. It's bigger than her backpack. So the form factor, I mean, it's just massive. Again, folks, these are not lightweight tents. They do not feature a small form factor. And together, these aspects are concerning considering the price of these products. Speaking of the prices for a second, these are without a doubt very premium, especially when you go up to the three person and the four person and six person. Now those are the retail suggested prices, but after doing some searching, I haven't found any sites that are really selling these for a discount price. Maybe $10 here, $20 there, but that's about it. Coleman in general is known for making very budget-friendly products. The best way that I could describe their quality is that it's good enough for the money, and that makes it okay. As long as you know what you're getting with one of their products, I think you're fine. And that's what makes this so confusing to me, because the stats don't scream a premium product, but the prices, they're really, really high. It just doesn't make much sense to me, especially for tents that are made from polyester material. Another point that I find really interesting, at the Coleman website, when it comes to these tents, they do not show pictures of the inside of the tent. 
It's only a picture of the outside, which I find really, really strange. The company needs to add more pictures, provide more information, because right now it's very much limited. Maybe that's because these products are new. I don't know. Points to mention, footprints are included for each of the tents. It looks like the tents feature a lot of mesh, which is uncommon for a Coleman tent. Now you may not know this, but mesh is actually more expensive than fabric. And that's why you tend to find very inexpensive tents that do not have much mesh. They have a fabric inner instead. Because these tents have inners that were constructed from mesh, breathability and airflow should be excellent. Ultimately, we will find out together if that's true. And that's because I plan to get in at least one of these tents, maybe two to test them out. I, <laughs> I'm a little bit floored by this, to be honest. The prices are just so high and the weights are so high. It really does make these products very, very interesting. Because my question is, like, what are you paying for exactly? What justifies the prices here? Especially when you compare this to other products out on the market. Taking the two-person backpacking tent for an example, $270. You can go out and buy a Teton Sports Mountain Ultra 2 for $100 less. You can buy a Nature Hike Mongar 2, which is, again, $100 less. It's also two pounds lighter than the Coleman tent, and it features double the waterproof rating. Talking about the Coleman Peak One camping stove, this is a two burner stove. Check this out, $250 for this stove. And it doesn't look to do anything different than their other stoves, which you can buy for like a hundred bucks. Anyways, everyone, that pretty much wraps it up for this news episode. I wanna hear from you all. Comment down below. What do you think about these premium products? Are they truly premium? That's a good question. Are they worth the very high price tags? I don't know. I'm interested to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment down below about this. Would you go out and purchase a premium Coleman tent based upon your experiences with the company? Now, talking about that, my experiences with Coleman have been fantastic, really. There's a few things that you have to keep in mind. The quality is good enough considering the price, and I think that's the best way to describe the company. They offer a ton of products, and again, the quality is good enough for the money. Before I go, everyone, I do want to talk about the reviews that I've seen online concerning these Coleman tents. All of those reviews are basically garbage. You will find these online at numerous sites. Not a single one of those reviews can you believe, can you trust, because these individuals receive these products for free. They don't have to test them out. All they have to do is sit down and type something, and that's exactly what they've done. So if you go out looking at one of these peak one tents and you see glowing reviews, know that more than likely those reviews are bullshit. Before I wrap up this episode, I wanted to share the thoughts of some of my viewers about these tents with you all. So I asked members on Patreon and here on YouTube what they thought about these premium products. And this is what people had to say. My buddy Mike, he says, they don't look all that great in my honest opinion, at least on paper. Ultralight is such a weird term. Like relative to my truck, these are ultralight. <laughs> That's super funny, and you're right, buddy. James says here, my Nature Hike Cloud Up three-person that he uses with his kids is one and a half pounds lighter than their three-person tent and costs half as much. How about that? Thomas says, four pounds, $230, nonsense. Ben says, those are Z-Pack numbers for lesser quality. My buddy Johnny Mac, he says, the weight is way too high to be a backpacking tent. He's right. Ashley says, way too expensive for a Coleman product. And I agree. With that being said, I'm going to get at least one in and I'm going to test it out with you all. So let's see how well it performs. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. More is coming up about these tents soon enough. Make sure to hit the thumbs up before you go. It does help the channel. You can also support The Outdoor Gear Review, Patreon, YouTube. You can join the Wolf Pack. You can join the family. The Outdoor Gear Review is agenda free. I'm not here to sell products. I'm here to share information and to keep companies honest, to keep them on track. I'm done for now, everyone. I can't wait to read your comments. Strength and honor. Bye.